Hi everyone, welcome back to Get Ready With Me Louise. So today we're in number three of the motherships. This is subversive. And look how pretty this palette is. Look at this, it's so beautiful. Oh, I mean, it's gorgeous, look how dark. I mean, it's just mm, so gorgeous. This is the eye look that we're gonna to create today. I'm excited. Um, I did actually find the cards to these three palettes right here, and I'm okay. I think I know which is which, so we're going to use the card. I probably should write on these. That would probably be the better thing. So, if I'm reading this right, the first shade we're going to go into is Lazarus. Which, again, there is only two mattes in this palette. That is the Deep Shade, it's called, and then Extreme Black. And Extreme Black was in all of them. So, you're definitely going to have plenty of black. Let's just say that for a lifetime. But, if you're going to have a lot of black, it is a good black to have. I will say that. So, this one is not my favorite. I could say that right off the bat. I do love the look that I created, but in all honesty, there's really only a couple of shades in here that I truly, truly love, you know? So, for me, it's not necessarily worth $129. So that's why I'm doing this, because I'm hoping that you all get to see firsthand, especially if you're like my skin tone and stuff, and a beginner, what palette may be for you if you are intrigued by these palettes. I mean, you can't go wrong with any of them technically, because it's Pat McGrath. You just can't go wrong, you know? But if you're going to use it, unlike me who just sits and stares at it, you know, you want a color story that you can use. And I get that. You know, don't be like me who just wants to stare at a palette just because, you know? <laughs> but do you see how quick? I mean, done. You know what I mean? Like, bam, you're done. It, it's crazy how quickly you can just create a look or blend these shadows maybe not create the look because i will say sometimes sitting down with these shadows it is hard to sit there and go okay what 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 can i do where am i going with it you know i do agree to that and i understand that wholeheartedly because i'm the same way i'm just like where am i going with it you know just making sure both sides are the same okay then i'm going to go into what is called the deep shade I am using my refer brushes again. I'm just gonna lay it down, pull it in, lay it down and pull it in. Like I said, I go very slow when it comes to these darker shades because I don't trust myself, to be honest. I mean, not only because I don't know what I'm doing, but because, like, I don't want to make a mistake. Because then it's just too late, you know? Once it's done, it's done. And I just don't want to mess up. And again, with time, you will get, I do, I mean, even I get better at doing my makeup over time. But it does take a lot of time. Like, there's no tutorial you're going to watch that's just going to be like, poof, and you're good, you know? And a lot of it is because, like, honestly, I think I don't think anybody has the same eye shape. I think everybody's got different eye shapes. I'm sorry. I just do. I don't believe for one second we all have the same eye shape.
I'm going to take that same color and run it down there, but I didn't want too much on this brush. I kind of got it going a little bit dark right now. Darker than I intended for it to go, to be honest. Okay, so I'm going to run that same shade under the lower lash line. But yeah, I mean, if you just take it slow and easy, you won't have issues. But if you do decide to pick one, you know, because they are expensive, no doubt. At least go with one that you, you will use, a color story that you, you can use. And then, you know, if you want to add to your collection, you know, you can. But it is all about, like, what you're going to use, what you won't use, and that sort of stuff. Preference. It's all about preference. My lips are tingling. Just side note. My lips are tingling. I'm trying to go through my stuff, y'all. Like, not just eyeshadows, but lip, all that stuff. And... I found some buxom glosses and everybody raves about buxom glosses and it does have a nice cooling it's not hurtful it is cooling but you can feel it not spicy more like a wind, peppermint type of feel a winter green type of feel type of you know what I mean this is the way I'm feeling it and it's nice it is nice I don't really know if it's doing anything like I do know with the I'm not let me go to the next one I'm gonna go into night creature I do like night creature I do like it um I do know with like um two-faced shadows like I feel them you know what I mean We're just gonna pat it on. I don't have any primer or anything down, so fallout is on me, if any. I like the Too Faced um, plumping stuff because I like pain. I don't know why, but I do. But at the same time, like I feel that work immediately, almost, you know. Where with this, I don't necessarily feel. I feel it not in a hot way though more in a cooling but I don't know if there's necessarily a difference in plumping action you know what I mean but it's also sort of like their buxoms I do use buxom their serum it's called plump shot I put it on right before I kind of do my makeup and um I do feel that, again, cooling, not uh, hot and spicy. And I do notice a little bit of a difference because I'm trying anything to get my lips to be back the way they were. Like, I really never had an issue with my lips. They were always kind of just normal, you know, normal lips. Um, they weren't thin. They weren't too thick. But I got into a car because when I was young and my tooth went through my lip right through here so my cupid's bow isn't exactly even but my lip line i'm starting to see it fade more and more as the years go through or go on the next shade i'm going to go to is blitz amethyst this is the other shade that i absolutely positively adore like i just adore the shade ready y'all and then i'll get back to the story i'm just gonna pat it just gonna pat it on. Can you see the shade? Look up. The way you can really see it. Oh god. Like, oh god. You just wanna I just wanna go, uh it hits every feeling for me. This shade does. Just look at it. It's so pretty. And again, if you got it wet. Or possibly stuck it to her um, 
see I'm doing it again. How do I keep forgetting the name of that thing? Her artistry wand. This time I couldn't even think of it. It didn't even come to me. But if you stick this to the artistry wand, oh my goodness. I can only imagine what it would do. Because look at it. Uh, I mean, it gives me everything I want and need in life this color it's shiny it's sparkly it's beautiful uh, just beautiful mm -mm -mm. I mean it really does give me everything I need in life all right and again I would highly suggest I'm gonna go back into that Night Creature Shade, highly suggest that, honestly, if you're going to use her palettes, I would do my eyes first and then the rest of my makeup. But, at the same time, as much as I would love to do that, if I filmed it, well, we might be here all damn day. Let's get real. I'm slower than I don't know what. The chicken cross on the road, I guess. I don't know. But we all know that it would be three hours long, most likely, if I filmed my whole me doing everything without editing. Most of the time, just because I'm doing this, but then I have to get up and go get the kids off the bus, or I have to get up and throw the laundry in the dryer, or whatever it may be. Like, it's always something, you know? So, and I could never take up somebody's time like that, you know? It's just a little bit too much. I just wanna make sure I get both sides even. it blends in nicely to each other to where it looks like you know one begins you can't they just both collide in a sense but in a pretty way like a really pretty pretty way not necessarily a bad collision it's not a bad collision it's a pretty purple blue sparkling moment and I'm here for it I mean it's just might not really go with my shirt that much but today it's okay if it don't, you know? Like, I'm okay with that <laughs> for today. All right, then I'm stepping outside my comfort zone. The whole Y looks not gonna match my outfit today because that Blitz Amethyst mm, takes my breath away. Okay, the next shit I'm gonna go into is Astral Ghost Orchid. And we're gonna place that just in the inner corner here. Again, if you wet it or use the artistry wand, it's going to be much better. But we all know I'm not going to do that. You know, it just is what it is. Mm, I love this look. Even though this isn't my favorite palette. I do love it. Okay, going back into Night Creature on a very small pencil brush. And I'm going to run that right on the lash line. Uh, trying to be careful with it because I don't want fallout. So 
I'm either really lucky or just because I am so slow, I don't get much fallout. One of the two. Or it could be my palettes are older. I don't know. I don't know if it makes a difference in the formula or not. But either way, I don't have much fallout at all. So that's kind of a good thing for me. I also, you know, by doing this, honestly, it's helped me, you know, use these palettes, number one. But also, it's made me reach for more Pat McGrath stuff. You know what I mean? Like, the foundation I'm wearing today is the Pat McGrath. Uh, the blush is the, um... What blush did I use today? It is the Nymphette from the, um this palette, the Bridgerton, and then that's the highlight I'm wearing, which is Venus Nectar. So I'm wearing it in, in Nymphed, which I think I have both of them in singles. I know I've got all the blushes. I'm pretty sure Venus Nectar is a single too, but I could be wrong. I'd have to like look and, well, I really don't feel like looking right now, you know? But yeah, like, Again, though, the only thing with this, again, and for me, it's a me thing, is the fact there's only technically two matte shades in here. And I do like a little more matte. I don't want to be 50-50. I would rather have more of the metallic or shimmer shades than mattes, but out of 12 shades... Or 10 shades probably at least three it would give me at least three mats you know if I had to be honest at least three preferably I think four you know but I could live with three if there are three shade and obviously if it's a Pat McGrath palette it's gonna make sense so but yeah I mean, like I said, you can't really go wrong with either any of her palettes. It's just the question of what palette are you going to use and enjoy. Because you want to, unlike me, you do want to use these palettes, absolutely. Because they're just too gorgeous not to use, you know? Too gorgeous not to use. And I will say that. And this is such a pretty palette. Kind of just touching over everything. All right. But like I said, I do like the fact that yeah, I am pulling out more Pat McGrath stuff and using it. I mean, just so it don't go bad even, you know? Because I don't want any of this to go bad. But I also know, like, I'm not giving any of it up. So, like, I just can't see myself anyway giving it up. Maybe I would one day, you know. But I just can't. I don't know. I'm going to use the Dark Star yeah, Mascara for my top lashes again. I know I've been being lazy and not even curling them. Just can't be bothered with that. I can't be bothered with my hair. Like it just, I just. Now I can do my makeup though. That I can do. I have no problem doing that. I like doing it. it makes me feel good. It helps me think. Like, and maybe it's just because it's the time you have to sit down to yourself, in a sense. Kind of, to yourself. Whatever it is, I do, like, it's like I'm off if I don't do it. And it don't necessarily have to be, like, a look like this. I just basically putting anything, you know, a tinted moisturizer on and some 
lip balm, mascara and lip balm, you know. But I do think that with me, 9 out of 10, I am going all out because I'm like, if I'm going to sit down and do something, like, I'm going to do something. I'm going to take my time and I'm going to, you know, express myself however I can. However I see fit. And I will say, I'm really enjoying this mascara is kind of growing on me. I'm in trouble. Can't afford to buy mascaras that are this expensive all the time. Oh. Alright. I think they're good enough. And then for bottom lashes, the Lancome. As I make my funny faces. Sometimes I'd like to take pictures, like, each time I go to do my mascara. And you know the funny faces we make to do the bottom lashes, right? Or even sometimes talk and take a picture and then sort of put it all together in like some sort of collage because sometimes I do make the funniest of faces for real for real even I have to question my the faces I make sometimes That is the final look we're using. Oh, no, one more thing. Let me tell you. I use the Making Waves ColourPop liner in the um, Avatar collection for my waterline. I thought it went really good with this blue that's in my eyes, you know? Why does that look so much bluer? Oh, the light. Okay. See, that's the other thing. It's like, depending on how the light hits, you can have a whole different kind of eyeshadow look, you know? Really enjoy that. Okay, so this is the Pat McGrath Mothership 3 Subversive Palette. Right here. How exciting, huh? So then tomorrow would be 4, if I'm not mistaken. So what was 4? I think bronze seduction was five. Huh. I'm gonna have to figure that out, I guess. I know bronze seduction was five. Six was midnight sun. Yep, yep, yep. I remember, I remember. Oh, this is four. Mmm. There's not a mat in here. So how do people use the four if there's no mats? This is what four is going to look like. How exciting. For the longest time, I didn't have this palette. I had every palette but this one. For the longest time. Yep. So, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to use four. That's going to be interesting. But anyway, so we're down three. We only got how many more to go? Like I said, I'm going to do the all the motherships, and then I'm going to, you know, count them down to my favorites. I am going to add the two Christmas ones in with these, because I they're big like motherships. They're motherships, but they're just called something. And then we'll do to the six pan ones, I think, and then to the four. That's how I plan to do it. I'm pretty sure. So we'll rank them like that, because... If I had to throw them all together, that'd take too long. And I know you all ain't got the time. So, anyway, that's all I got for you today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, ring the bell, hit all. That way you're notified when I do upload. I'm 
I hope this is helping you in some way, some form maybe, to decide whether or not these palettes are for you. And if they are, which one or all of them. Because I'm for all of them. Whether I can use them, whether I will ever use them, I'm for them. Just because, well, it's the Pat McGrath, you know. Hello. Bow. That's what it has me. It's like, I bow. Her and Natasha, those are my top two. But that's all I got for you today. I'll see you in my next one. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Bye.